Hello, welcome to another video by Moxa Marine. In this video, I'm going to be um, installing a Delco EST system upgrade, and I'm going to wire the uh, Delco into this harness, and um, or the Delco components into this existing Merc Cruiser harness. And I'm going to explain what I'm going to do first, and then I'll show you what I've done. So, the first thing you have to do is you have to power your coil. This is a new ignition coil. I'm mounted on the back of the cylinder head. There's my my logo down there. My custom bracket. Everything is rigidly mounted to the cylinder head. No problem. So this is your power connect connector to your coil. The pink wire is hot, 12 volts into the coil. The white is the uh, negative wire out to your tachometer. So internally, the, the white wire here and this pin here are connected together. The other connector will connect from here over to the distributor, which I'll show later. It'll go from, from there to the distributor. That's what actually triggers the coil, but that's where you get your tack signal from. So I'm about now to uh, connect power to this coil. The two wires I'll be connecting are these right here. These are from the Mercury harness. You've got a purple. Somebody's already hacked on that before. I'm going to cut these two ring terminals off and splice them into here with uh, weatherproof uh, butt connectors. So first I'm going to do the purple. The purple will go to the pink. The gray, which normally would go to your, uh, goes over your uh, Thunderbolt 5, but it also goes to your TAC. Um, let me think about that. Yeah, so that's the gray goes to your TAC or your Thunderbolt 5. So that'll be taking care of that. So the gray connects to this white and the purple connects to the pink. I'll go ahead and make those connections and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, as I'm making this connection to this uh, pink wire, which I believe is it's probably about a 14 gauge wire, um, the butt connector uh, I'm gonna use is uh, probably too big for this wire. So what I've done is I stripped off about maybe a half an inch, uh, maybe a little bit more, and then uh, trying to get it to focus on it. So, and then I bend it over to give double thickness on the copper so that the uh, butt splice, the bigger butt splice will have enough material to crimp down on. That's one trick you can use to make a bigger butt splice fit on a smaller wire. So I'm about to um, put that butt splice on and I'll crimp it down and show you what it looks like. All right, the coil connections have now been made. I've got the white uh, butt splice to the gray and it's all heat shrunk with a lighter still a little warm. Then I've got the uh, pink from my power to my coil connected to the purple on your uh, engine harness and that's all done and so the wiring to the uh, coil is now done so now i'm going to move on over and do the uh, let's see what's next um i'll do the uh, shift kill portion of the uh, harness all right continue with the wiring of the uh, delco est ignition upgrade i will now discuss how to install the uh, shift kill harness so my kits will come with this harness uh, pre-made as a shift kill uh, harness uh, system so what you do is you plug this in your stripper like so this connector fits right in here and then you take the band off of it obviously and do that easy all right so now I've got I've got extra wire you can cut cut off what you don't need so there's two ways you can do this you can either run this wire back around to the front and put a bullet connector on it Somewhere up here and tie it into your shift kill harness, which will uh, which will be part of your, uh, uh, it'll be on the side of your exhaust manifold. And you can put you a, um, a uh, let me think about this. Um, trying to think which one. You can put a female uh, bullet connector on here. It's either female or male, obviously, but I believe it's a female because it would match this one here. But um, I prefer to repurpose the, uh, so this is a, your old shift kill. This is a white with black stripe. I come into this harness here. Where'd it go? Um, here, right here. So this is part of your old Thunderbolt 5 connection. And inside here, there it is right there. There's a white with a black stripe. Cut it right here. It's already back here. Splice it into this red wire, and then you're done. It's very simple. So I'm going to take this, this red wire, cut it to length, splice it into this white with black. The other end of this white with black comes up here right here so this is already made up so you already have a bullet connector here it already ties in your shift kill done it's all this is all done for you so it's a very simple matter to take this red wire and splice it into the white with black and i'll do that now all right i've now made up the back end of the shift kill so you like i was saying i've got my uh, shift kill connector got my red wire coming over here the red indicates 12 volts positive and i've tied it into that black wire i mean a uh, white wire with a black stripe of the uh, thunderbolt 5 uh, harness. I cut it off right there. I took my finger, bent it back out of the way, butt spliced it with, then with a weatherproof heat shrink uh, type connector. All right, so that's at the back side. Up here at the front, the other end of the wire ends up right here. It's already done. 
all you have to do is connect this to your shift kill uh, switch on your shifter uh, shifter mechanism and that side's done all right the other side of your shift kill is this black wire here it's got a male but male bullet connector on it and um, while you could tie this into a positive circuit for the fuel pump, I don't recommend it. It is bad wiring practice to use a black wire on a positive 12 volt circuit. So for that purpose or for that reason, I created this uh, male bullet with, a red, the, with what was left over from the shift kill connector or shift kill harness. And uh, I'm just gonna take it and splice it into my uh, fuel pump positive right there with a, a connector I'll show you in a second it's called a 3M tap connector. And the shift kill part will be done. This will be ready to plug in your shift kill switch on your shifter once you install your exhaust manifold. Um, obviously, this engine is in the pr stages of being built, so I don't have the exhaust manifolds on it yet. So anyway, I'm going to tie this on there, and it'll have a red wire indicating uh, positive 12 volts. Uh, again, you you have this black wire with a bullet connector, but again, it's, it's bad wiring practice to use black wire on a 12-volt positive circuit, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I would almost recommend you cut this black wire off right here, abandon it so that this is not confused and uh, connected and leave this. If somebody were to disconnect the shift kill and have this bullet, that would be positive 12 volts. You don't want that just laying around. So I'm going to cut this off so that they don't confuse these two bullet connectors and hook them up the wrong way. So uh, let me go ahead and finish that up and I'll show what it looks like. Okay, I now have the uh, shift kill positive side made. I just used a 3M tap connector, uh, tapped into the fuel pump positive that I've already repaired once, and then uh, took this red wire, put in the tap, have my bullet connector. So this this bullet here, and this, fem this male bullet and this female bullet are now your shift kill connections. I cut off the black wire so that it would not be confused with this red bullet here, because I don't want this red bullet to be left unconnected. So that wraps up the uh, shift kill connections. So that, um, that's all there is to it. All right now, if you have a Thunderbolt 5, to complete this process, you need to connect this yellow wire right here to the tan wire with the blue stripe. That is for your temperature alarm horn. All right, you need to connect that back here, connect those two together. Then up here on the front, the temperature sensor, which is right there, the temperature sensor, which is screwed into your thermostat housing, you'll take this, take this temperature sensor out and replace it with a temperature switch. I will include the switch on the Thunderbolt 5 kits. If you get a uh, Thunderbolt 4 or an earlier kit, you don't need this switch. I'll, I won't include that. Save you a little bit of money. So um, at this time, I'm going to connect, disconnect this connector, take the switch out, replace it with the proper switch, and then I'm going to connect this, uh, take this yellow wire right here, cut this connector off, put on a uh, quarter inch spade connector, and then when that's done, you connect that to your switch, and the uh, alarm, temperature alarm will work. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, that wraps up the wiring, uh, the changes to the uh, Mercury harness to install the Delco EST ignition upgrade. So again, I've got my, uh, I've got one, two, three small butt splices, one larger butt splice, and then uh, a tap connector here for the uh, shift kill positive off the fuel pump power, and then I've got the, um, say the uh, temperature sensor, I've got a uh, quarter inch spade connector up here on the yellow wire for the temperature sensor, or temperature switch, not a temperature sensor. So once I put that on the temperature switch, the uh, wiring will be done for the uh, Delco EST upgrade. So um, in previous videos, I've discussed this, this shift kill connector and dual purpose for both, uh, for both doing the shift kill and the set timing procedure, but I've since changed my mind. Um, I've decided that was... Uh, it allowed too many uh, possibilities for errors and people to get confused. So I decided to just do separate harnesses for the uh, set timing. So that's your ki shift kill harness. Your set timing harness is this. It will come with a uh, alligator clip already soldered to the wire. I solder it so it won't come loose and make a mess. So anyway, the, uh, the alligator clip is important. I've got it rubber banded together when you get it. So uh, what you do to set timing, I'll cover this in another video on how to set timing. I'm just showing you how it works. So. For setting timing, you disconnect your shift kill and just leave it hanging there. And you connect your set timing connector in the same in the same port. Connect it right here. And then you take your rubber band, excuse me, you take your uh, alligator clip and just clip it to the positive 12 volts. So it fits right on this screw very easily. It doesn't matter which one you put it on. It could be this one or that one. This fuse has got 12 volts on both sides. So now that I've got the uh, shift kill set up, um, this engine will be in uh, set timing mode. Um, I'm, there's sayings out there um, on the internet or some of the instructions you say uh, to uh, that they say to uh, make this connection after the engine running. I guess that's fine. Just crank the engine, get it running, then 
hook this alligator clip on that wire or on that terminal and you'll have a you'll be in set timing mode you'll notice the engine will slow down and uh to be in set timing mode and then you will uh if it's too slow speed it up with a screw right here this is your idle speed screw on your carburetor you can turn that in it'll speed the engine up a little bit but you set your timing with a timing light uh to the to the proper setting in the uh, Delco EST instructions. Um, I'll include that in my uh, in, the, in the video on how to set the timing. Once you set the timing, you uh, remove this. You remove this harness. Pull it back out. Bang it down there. I'm gonna try it. All right. And then don't forget to reconnect your shift kill. Put your shift kill back in. And you're all done. So that's the that's the uh, extra harness for uh, setting timing. I'm not going to include that in uh, that process in this video because this video is about making the wiring for the uh, Duckle EST upgrade. So it's all done. Um, the only thing left to do now is to uh, take this and uh, I usually take a, a plastic zip tie and tie this up here and get it out of the way. If you want to be really uh, meticulous, you can take some silicone seal it and stuff it in these two connectors to seal up the wires in these holes because they're sealed on the backside. So if you want to seal this off, you can just stuff some silicone sealant down here and seal that off. But um, that concludes the uh, wiring for the Delco EST upgrade. This harness is complete on this boat. And I'm about ready to uh, prep this engine to run and put it in the boat. Thanks for watching.